Hey everybody, how's it going? So I've been wanting to do this episode for a little while now. Um, I've been a big fan of Ryan Bruce's cheapest guitar, cheapest amp kind of stuff on Amazon and eBay and whatnot. And I thought, well, why can't we do studio gear? Now, before everybody loses their minds and say, oh, you're just ripping off fluff. You know, I did the whole, can you play metal on series and uh, nobody gave him shit when he did Can You Play Metal on a Baritone. So with that out of the way, I thought we'd take a look at the cheapest tube stereo opto compressor you can find, which is this, the Art Pro VLA2. And uh, you can get this on Amazon and eBay for about $2.99. Now, the reason I wanted to take a look at this is because I've been invited to several studios in the Los Angeles area over the last year or two. I mean, like, and these are owned by people who I really respect and have done some amazing things in the music industry. And these guys have really slutty gear. I mean, like DBX 160 VUs, 1176s, LA2As, Pultex, like we're talking original stuff too. And the one thing I keep seeing in all their racks is this thing. And I'm like, what the hell? What's the deal? You got stuff that's worth thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. What's this doing in there? What, what, what's so special? And, you know, most guys say, hey, you know what? It's pretty cool. So this is, like I said, it's a tube opto compressor, meaning it's like an optical style compressor, much like the SA2A I've got here, which I d demoed a while back. The big difference being this has variable attack and release controls, and this can work as two separate compressors or as a stereo. So that's gonna be pretty versatile. And for $2.99, that's not bad for the real thing too. So let's, uh, let's crack this box open and see what we get. Ooh. Well, one thing I'm noticing, there's no ventilation on top or bottom, so I don't know how hot these tubes are running. And I'm not sure what kind of tubes are in it. Uh, I do have some replacements. I think this thing's just using 12AX7s. Hey, I could be wrong. But there's a nice little switch on the back here for a plus four, negative 10 uh, level. That's kind of important. That does both channels, mind you. We've got input threshold, ratio, attack, release, output level. Perfect. There's a uh, meter switch and a bypass as well, a nice hard bypass, and a stereo link so you can run this as stereo. So if you wanna run, you run this on like say a pair of room mics, on your drum kit, or even on your master bus, this might be pretty freaking cool. I'm gonna hook this up and I'm gonna run this on a few different sources and see just what it does. So to help me out with this demo, I had Rose Cora Perry come down from London, Ontario, and she did some vocals and some guitar and a couple other little things. And the first thing I threw this at was vocals and check this out. So I'm going to play you guys what her vocal sounds like dry and then with the VLA. I have difficulty breathing. Now the great thing about using a Redco audio patch bay is it allows you to do mults, and that means you can take the signal right off the mic and you can also split it and go through a compressor. And if you look at the compressed track, you know, the softer passages are all pretty much the same level as the louder passages. I have difficulty breathing. And this is especially apparent near the end here. If we, if we listen to the original take right off the mic, my insides, I don't want to be lost on the outside. And if we listen to the same passage, compressed. My insides, I don't want to be lost on the outside. Now, the trade-off there is you get a little more breath noise, but you don't have to sit there and automate the living crap out of it to get it to come up. Um, I like how smooth this is, especially uh, when you start loading up the vocal tracks. It gets pretty interesting. I have difficulty breathing. I can't hear my heart. Oh, it's so nice to hear somebody harmonize without auto-tune. That's so rare these days. So we also threw this at bass guitar. Same idea. We recorded it dry and then threw the compressor as well. Um, this just kind of levels things out a little bit. Nice and gentle. Nothing too hyper-aggressive here. Here's the bass original. And with the comp. Yeah. 
you know, I think we're using maybe a four or six to one ratio there. And like I said, nothing too insane, just a few dBs of game reduction, just to kind of smooth things out a little bit. Uh, where we did get a little more aggressive was on the drum room. Like if you listen, this is my, uh, this is how my drum room sounds by itself. It's a couple of road NTRs up in the corners. And um, I have to apologize to Rose's drummer, dude. Sorry, we didn't have the kit set up that day, or I would have loved to have you play on it. Um, but we had Cam Flurry in the other day. I was like, hey, Cam, throw a beat to this, see what happens. <laughs> Now, I love getting super aggressive on room mics with compressors. I think we had the, the ratio maxed out on that fastest attack and release just to kind of, you know, smash the living crap out of the transients and just give a fatter sound. And I got to say, I think this did it pretty well without it being overbearing. Um, you know, if you maybe throw like an SSL compressor at it or an 1176, it can get super hyper aggressive. This is a little bit mellower, which is kind of nice. It's kind of a neat effect. Um, let's check it out on a full mix as well. Take a look at this. Okay, the other thing I wanted to take a look at real quick was the snare drum. I pulled up the old Moon on the Water track because these days I'm usually recording with an analog compressor on the way in. And this was something where I did it with a couple of mics on top. And I've got everything summed to a bus here. If we take a listen to the snare without the compressor. And we throw the Art Pro VLA into this. and especially in a mix. Just gotta watch that return level. Very impressed with how that turned out, actually. It's got a little bit of that Lars Ulrich snare thing going on that was on the Black Album. So what we used here was like a very slow attack, and fast release, and like a six to one ratio. So pretty cool. Not a bad result at all. At 299, I think the Art Pro VLA is an absolute steal. If you're looking to get yourself your first compressor and not break the bank, this is definitely where you want to look. It is absolutely excellent at a bunch of different sources it's not hyper aggressive it's not a super characteristic type of compressor like an 1176 or an la2a might be but it will definitely get your foot in the door and go easy on your budget as well like i said i really dig it on snare drum i really dig it on vocals and i'm especially impressed with it as a room mic as being kind of like medium aggressive without being hype overly bearing so that's kind of awesome Anyway, if you want to get your hands on one, you can find links in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys Friday.